Hello. So let's start with our next topic. The first topic of geodynamics and geomorphology that is origin of earth. All right. So origin of earth, studying about the origin of earth is definitely very important. You know, it, it forms the basis of geology. If you are going to study about the processes taking place on the earth's surface, the features, all the natural processes, the landforms, the everything regarding the earth's surface, regarding the earth's sub subsurface, you really need to know about that how the earth actually originated. And then only you'll understand the composition, the processes, why actually these processes are taking place, and so many things. So that's why at very first, studying about the origin of the earth in a proper manner is really very important. You actually get lots of questions from this topic, origin of the earth. Fine. Now, let's start with the topic. So, we can see that regarding the origin of the earth, you can say the origin of solar system. You get so many theories. You get this evolutionary theory, you get this catastrophic theory, and so on. See, once you know how the solar system originated, it simply means that was the way how Earth originated. Because Earth is the part of our solar system. Hence, when you talk about the origin of the Earth, it's actually basically the origin of solar system. So in general, the theories of origin of the solar system can be divided into two groups. So they are just uh, the evolutionary theories and the catastrophic theories. So let's have a brief look at what these, what these theories are actually. So at first, when we talk about the evolutionary theories, so the people who have given these theories, they say that uh, the sun and the planets, both of them formed during the same time. That is, these theories suggest that planets are formed during the evolution of the sun. Right. I mean, since it, though they didn't say that at first the sun formed and then the planets formed. No, they actually are saying that during the evolution of the earth, the origin of these, the formation of these planets were t was taking simultaneously, was taking place simultaneously. Fine. So uh, one of the examples of evolutionary theories is the example of... Uh, nebula hypothesis this is the example of evolutionary theory and we'll be looking at this nebula hypothesis in a proper manner fine now uh, you have these catastrophic theories catastrophic means catastrophe or you call it accident so these theories actually state that that these are the theories which imagine that planets are formed by some special accident right or, or catastrophe such as the close approach of two stars i mean they, they imagine that there may be two stars in the space and they closely approach then the collision collision take, took place and due to the collision the planets formed but uh, these stars are so far apart in the galaxy that the possibility of such a catastrophe is extremely rare. I mean, they are not just, you know, neighbors. Though these stars in the galaxy are not neighbors. They are so far away from each other, right? So, the, I mean, the uh, possibility of the collision of so far away um, situating uh, two stars, it's ex extremely rare. But still, we have some theories. We have some hypotheses that are actually stating that the uh, formation of the solar system took place due to any catastrophe or an accident due to the collision of two stars. And the examples of such theories is the, the planetesimal or gaseous tidal hypothesis.
hypothesis right now let's uh, after we have seen that what is uh, evolutionary theories and what are catastrophic theories let's actually see the hypothesis under them